Yes, social media has double standards when it comes to what they consider bigoted. Bad things said against minorities is not tolerated, but things said against the majority is fully tolerated. Yes, this is a double standard, and you can't even get the publicly vocal parts of the academic community to admit this double standard. They state that it's not possible to be truly bigoted against the majority in the same way that the majority can be bigoted against the minority. As this may somewhat be true, as power does play a big role in how bigotry can affect people, it shouldn't mean that we completely diminish the bad effects that bigotry against the majority can have. When someone is calling to exterminate white people, I think it should be seriously looked at, especially when it comes to people having to follow a code of conduct on an online platform where calls to violence are supposed to be unacceptable. And yes, the left does dogpile others on the left for not being this or that enough. It's generally on Twitter, not YouTube. And when it is on YouTube, it's never to the degree, or seldom to the degree, that is done by those who tilt to the right. You rarely see ponage videos made by those on the left. And when they have made those kinds of videos, they have gotten removed from the site, and their channels terminated just like the people on the right who do the same. I'd say it happens a lot more quickly to those who do it on the left. Think about how many channels Dick Coughlin has gone through. Of course, this was during the more draconian years of YouTube, 2009 through 2013. They were brutal about their terms of service during that period. Then from 2014 to early 2016, YouTube stopped enforcing much of their terms of service. Then by late 2016, they started ramping up the enforcement of their rules due to the reputation they were getting in media and complaints they were getting from users and especially from their real customers, the advertisers. And now people like Dick Coughlin aren't doing ponage videos at all anymore. And even people like Bering and Undoomed have reduced their frequency of doing the really, really nasty types of ponage videos that result in thousands of people swarming some insignificant channel with insults. I'm thankful that those types of videos have decreased. I've also seen that the number of very young, ignorant people on the left putting out videos of poorly thought out concepts of social justice have decreased as well. Interesting, thought-provoking videos from non-mainstream sources have also unfortunately decreased. So when it comes to the left-right thing and bullying, as I've said, there are exceptions, and sometimes some pretty big exceptions. But again, they're exceptions. They're not the rule. Yes, there are double standards on social media and YouTube, and they should probably be more upfront about those standards.